Hey everyone, Super K here. You may be wondering why I always roll first before starting my paddle. The reason is, it mentally and physically prepares me for whatever is awaiting me on the water. I guess you could say that I warm up by cooling down. As always, if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Today is a perfect day to practice edging, bracing, and boat control because of the northerly outflow of a 10 to 20 knots. I intentionally try to get as close as possible to the rocks so that I can use edging and bracing to control my boat in chaotic waters. Plus, it's really fun. By the way, the boat I am using today is my 17-foot PNH medium volume Scorpio. While it's not as responsive as my Dolphin, it is such a stable boat, perfect in rough waters. I'd like to share a part of a song with you now. This song always resonates with me whenever I find myself in challenging waters. Mama take this badge for me I can't use it anymore It's getting dark, too dark to see I'm knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door oh. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knocking on heaven's door. Edging and bracing while being close to the rocks is more challenging, especially when your kayak is being pushed towards the rocks by rolling waves.
this is the same clip but from the front view so that you can fully see the beauty of the area I was paddling in. If you look to the right side of the screen, you will see the edge of a white cliff park. Behind me is the waterway that leads away from the Horse Bay Ferry Terminal towards White Cliff. This is my friend Mark waiting for me. I'm grateful to have a friend like him. Now we have arrived at Passage Island. We are planning on hand railing the short line. There was not much action at Passage Island, so Mark and I decided to cross over to Lighthouse Park. If you look to my left, you will see a man slack lining over the water. Pretty neat. I saw an elderly couple waving at me from the shore, so I waved back. It warmed my heart to see them outside, spending quality time together in nature. In them, I see myself and my wife doing the same thing in the future. We decided to go back to White Cliff Park. We missed the slim window of the northerly outflow. However, the water at White Cliff was still a little bit choppier than at Passage Island and Lighthouse Park. I'd like to finish the last couple of minutes of this video 
with an interesting version of one of my favorite songs. Enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm sorry. 